Hi guys, and here, welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. I'm just asking you ready for today's episode, and it starts thundering. I'm like, let's go and see if we get some more creeper heads. That was the plan. I've done it once, I need, I need some rockets on me. I don't need some aid. Let's head over here. Just sit at the There's a willing volunteer straight off the bat. Okay. There's some more over there. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Can you come here, thread, please? Right, let's see if he gets attracted by the lightning. I will just remove all bones there. Thank you. Is he coming this way? He is. Cool, we've got one charge creeper on the loose. <laughs> and I don't really want at the moment, I don't have a boat handy on me. Ah, I can do a baby zombie as well. There we get rid of you too, come on. Oh, child, go away. I hate you. We could. Let's see if we can get a skeleton head. Shield. Need the shield. Oh, we still need the shield for this bit now. Right. Is he too far away? Was he too far away? Uh, we don't know. Nope, we've got a skeleton skull. Excellent. Let me get another boat ready. Lightning striking still. My health is down. Okay, we've got the the skeleton skull. Is there any creepers over here? There is more. Oh my, there's Bob's skull. You have a party? Yes, get rid of you. I don't pick up my copper rods on me. Oh no, my toolbar. Um. See if it's still thundering. The thundering has ceased or not, but we've got a skeleton school, I have to say. Ah, we've got another charge creeper. Right, let me see if we get him in a boat. As a safety precaution, thank you. There we go. There's a witch over there. Oh, there was a witch. Is she still there? She's still there. Oh, she despawned. She despawned. Oh, well. Oops, it is. He's out. Right, got him trapped as well now. That's good. Take you back. Right, let's try and get this one out of the boat. Shield up! Get it? I did. Cool. I said you come with me. Here we go. Woohoo! Hey. Two creeper heads and a skeleton head. Yeah, that's quite a good night's nice head hunting. But that's some more heads. I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it now. I'm not going to be too greedy. I think it's time to go to bed. Get rid of the thunder. And then get on with today's task. I think it suits me. Hmm, maybe. There we go. Bit of internal deco for that. Oh, silly. They'll do that for the moment, they're not going to harm anything there. Might serve as a warning, let's throw this away. But today I want to head back into the nether, I want to start doing a bit more projects over there. We've still got some things that are not completed out there. So, oh, perfect landing. Here we go. And that is the connection of all our portals. We've got multiple portals in here now. 
and I think we need to get them all connected together just so they're all linking with one another easily so that's to the city which I don't need to get near for it this is the main portal we've got to Whiteforge Island I did clear out some of the land from around here because this was going to be my main central hub Mistlet is over a lava lake but that doesn't matter so I need to build something off here and then I'll have four or eight tunnels coming off it in well I'll start with the four main compass points of north, south, east and west and then from there we can do key tunnels out and linking off to the other portals around the area so first things first I think I need to gather some material I'm going to use I'm going to make use of some of the I want the right name for this now Ooh. the warped that's it, I have to remember my hand already. Some of the warped wood around here. With the materials, get some quartz in there perhaps. So I think I'll do some chopping. Do a bit of trading with the masons back on the White Forge Island. Get some materials and then we'll come back here and see what we can put together. So let me gather some gears up, some stuff up. And I'll be with you shortly. Right, we've done some grinding, got some resources together. I've got a flint and steel, that's good. The first one to do is keep this as it is. Uh, let's get rid of you though. I've got to care for look at any enderman during this. Uh, we'll get put you in there. And that is three wide. So we can go one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's so put you in there. Just make this all up into a cube around it and we'll just use this as the center of what will be our nether portal be careful don't fall off the edge there that won't be very good will it let me just put you there like that then we'll go like you like you like you thank you they've all been lit that's good right so then obviously we're gonna have, I'm gonna have like a circular area around this and then the, obviously this will be the center of it. But I'm thinking now on the floor, might have a look at some compass rotors. The, you know, the points you get on compasses, I've got my hoe with me, I have. So right, I'm trying this out straight. Is this the best I'm going to be doing that? Am I best coming over here? Am I best coming over here? Let me just move this chest. Okay, let's get this in place now. So I go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Do I want smooth? I think I want smooth. <laughs> right, let me get this cooked up and then we'll um we'll get this in place. Okay, we've got some smooth now. Um I'll just widen this up while I was waiting for that to cook up. Let's see what this looks like. I've fallen um I hit the top of that. No, I can't. Oh dear. This could be bad. Go to land. Don't throw random ender pills while you're in the nether. you could end up throwing them into lava. Oh, idiot. Right. So, back from me doing stupid things. So, let's go try this again. We've got... That's three. And we'll just... Let's just make this. And then we'll do one, two, three. To give it that compass point and then we can do the same over here so that will give us like the, the north and east or west whatever, whichever way it is which way is this just so we know that's a screenshot i think there okay so that's north that's east so then have it is that enough is that better Yeah, I got a little miniature one there. 
might even just want to fill these in here like that. Put you like that there. Yeah, not sure about that. I need to work on that, I think. Or something like that, and that on each side. Get a, a suitable design for that. And then... I'm able to put these down each side. In fact, I know what I'll do for the moment. I'm going to get rid of this altogether. Because I'm looking at that going, I don't like it there. And then we'll strip these in. Let me just pop you and you in there. And these will be the entrances in and out. Have I got some blackstone? I have. This was more at the edge. One, two, three, like that. And then we'll take this one out as well. Do that. Put a ring in around the edge of the circle. And then we'll look to doing the rest of stuff later. So let me get all that in place. And we'll see where we're at after that. Okay, we've got in place now. We've got the compass points in. Now I'll put a a trim around the edge of the stripped wood. The which wood is it? It's the uh, warp stem. And then we've got the polished blackstone around the edge just to mark that off. Now I just need to fill in the rest. I've bought in some of these shroom lights just to make some illumination in there. But now I'm thinking I have got some stairs but I want to firstly come in and just put in some of the this stuff this is the warped warp block just to give it a little bit of an extra change in texture of what we've got in here and put those in there and then we'll just do this final side just slowly working back now filling this pattern and then I think I'll just come and put a layer against this here but I'll do it full on so it's like that and then we'll just do this all the way around okay we've added that in now I had some stairs but I don't know if I want to bring them in I feel like I need a, some, a block to go in here but I don't know what right back a quick trip to my creative world a quick trip back to White Forge Island to get some materials and I need some more of the warp stuff as well okay I want to just first thing is to bring it up there and then I'm going to just pop this underneath here just so I can work on it I've got this is a grey glazed terracotta and so I want to go there I want to try and put down a little pattern there we go like so no that's not right there we go that can go in like that I'm going to do the same over here and again I'll just put this down underneath okay so those two are both in this is wool I don't know if I'm now getting to the point where I'm adding too many textures don't think I am if I put another one of these in like this and then put your wool in the rest of them and I think I'll just chuck in a final, actually a final two. Does that look about right? I think it does. I think it does. I'm just double checking. So if that's all like that, and then what I'm going to do, if I just do this one now, then I'll cut away. So I want to take you up there. We'll have got just normal clear glass for this and then we'll come back this way here so a stubble wall Put window there window there Do I want a third column in not for the moment I think that will work. So I'm going to replicate that in all these three corners here along with the wall. Then we need to put a roof on this place. 
uh, and then think about something underneath the floor, see if we can get time to do that this episode. Uh, but then let me crack on and get that done and we'll see where we are after that. Right, we've got this space all done now. I, t I, t I made a mistake on the pattern. Yeah, I put the two pieces there and I didn't do it on that side, but I tweaked it all up, brought that straight in, tidied that up. I, I thought it was off with the lights, the trim lights there. I've done the same all the way around. Got all the walls, but it's starting to look really nice it's now. I'm really liking it. So, next stage. There will be tunnels going out in each direction, but I may also fly. Now, the tunnels, I'm not sure if I'll have a roof on them or not at the moment, but the aim is, if I fly, I would like, on the outside here, a landing platform. Just so, if I fly in, I've got somewhere I can land, which will mean I can then get inside of the hub. So, if I just come around here initially and put this in, and then from back here, I'm now going to bring this out. Uh, we'll go one. That's three. Let's see what that looks like. Right, just put a little bit of a sample in around there. I'm quite liking this. think I might go one more and put a fence on it. I think that would work quite nicely. But on top of that, what I'll do, I'm going to get some of the backstone. That's it, not deep slate. Backstone slabs, and I'm going to put them on a like a dome roof around this as well. Maybe chuck some shroom lights on top of it just to help light it up. Uh, I think that will be quite good, and that will have us near enough one of design point, point anyway. Finished starter nether hub. So let me get that all finished off, and then we shall be near. Well, finishing that bit off and then we've got to add things like a respawn anchor in it and then a lodestone and all that sort of stuff so i'll crack on i'll be back with you in a second and then we should be able to wrap this up okay we are back and one roof later i've actually added in some of the warped wood as well just to give it a little bit of a contrast in color and i really do like this shroom light on top to give it some illumination and this is looking really nice so let's i'm going to get some rockets on me just in case i don't make it down safely in one go but there we go here we go i've managed it fine what way around extended it by one more there and i put this little bit of a stone uh blackstone wall around the edge of it but it means i can get in and out quite easily and then that is all good but when we come into here everything done the walls up the roof on it is looking really nice now really really happy with this in the middle i added some quartz just to finish that bit off might take these up higher to the ceiling i don't know yet i haven't decided uh, i do quite like this little gap there but i'm tempted just to bring it all up but yeah this means i've now got one nice setup going forward for the nether i can now basically run off uh, tunnels or passages of some sort anyway of in all the four compass directions I can potentially take out some of these middle ones here and do diagonal ones as well there's nothing stopping me doing that I just need to come up with a design for these roads going out start clearing them out digging them up and working out how we can connect with our existing puzzles we've got out there and then what I've also done if I can actually get down here somehow I've cleared out everything underneath as well just gone and removed it all out of the way need to take some more of this back wall out that's fine i can do that later uh, then i've just gone down some half slabs of quartz just under where the compass rose is above and it's still it's just basically covered in the obsidian you can see from the bottom the rest is the pattern on the floor above and we have the pattern down below happy with that this is just now tidying up that obviously I just didn't like that I did just initially cover that bit up and it didn't look right do the whole lot it looks a lot better uh, so I'm happy with that I think that's fine I was going to maybe think I have a more curved bottom but right now I'm happy with that and again how the whole thing is held up and like that I think when I get some of the tunnels in place it like it'll look more secure and in place so that's less of an issue uh, I can get back up there I can but this will do it for the episode now. I've got some more stuff to do. I need to get some find some lanterns and just go make a load of those up. I need to get some low stones going. I need to get respawn anchors as well in here. 
where we have my initial chest where I used to keep my flint and steel and so forth and then the other bits of goblins I've got around here what I will probably do probably off one of these where it goes into the nether rack is as it goes down make a entrance right into like a little hole holding room to put that sort of stuff in here just so it's not in here I will introduce the respawn anchor and so forth in here and the low stone as part of the decoration in here but I like this nice open clean bright and clearly visible when you're out and about and I'll make these tunnels going out probably go through that nether back as well to out of the other way I've got an idea in my head for a design for these I think initially I'm just going to get a floor in with like a trim down the side and then if I want to come back later on and put a roof on it I will do but right now that's my initial thinking and then again I can land on those I can land on here uh, however I want if I'm playing or I can just use them as markers to fly along against as well but on that I'm going to wrap this episode up guys thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed the video please leave a like because subscribing if you're new bring the bell to be notified of future content and I will see you all in the next episode bye bye I didn't look at it yet can you get me here I can, I'm safe oh he's gone back home <laughs> okay I'll see you later guys bye bye